the truth about being a personal brand. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths, and I'm gonna share the highs and lows and the ugly reality of being a personal brand. So rewind five years ago, and personal brands, you think about it on Instagram, there were beautifully created spaces that were, everybody showed up and it was all glossy and every life was perfect and magical. And we had that kind of Insta perfection. And the reality is that that didn't resonate and relate to many, many people and their ordinary lives. And so things have shifted and people are less perfect than they once were. And it is much easier to build connection and trust with people when you're less perfect, when your life is just you showing up and being real and being raw and honest. And so the more that you can show up and talk about your life, you don't have to give everything of your life, of you know every drama, every detail of what's going on in your life, but so that people have a sense of who you are and what you're about. Because actually in the online world, they are not meeting you face to face. When people meet you face to face, it's much easier to sell and build those connections. And so when you meet people, when you're giving a talk, you can convert people to want to work with you and it's so much easier to sell. But in the online world, they have to build that trust and build that relationship. And so in order to do that, they need to see who you are, what you're about, what your values are, and what you stand for. And so it's really important to share posts, sharing your knowledge, your expertise, but also that personality, showing up so they know who you are, what you're about. And by doing that, they can build a relationship with you. They can build a friendship with you. And so in doing that, it is much, much, much easier to sell. So the first thing you want to think about when it comes to a personal brand is really thinking, okay, I want to be who I am in real life and talk about whatever struggles, whatever you have going on. So that can really help you to build. And it sounds really difficult, it sounds really counterintuitive to everything that you stand for. It's like, oh, that's not professional. But actually, by showing up what, what's and all and talking about whatever is going on in your life is so much easier. So on LinkedIn, I show up every day and I talk about whatever comes into my head. It's not a fixed plan. I don't have, I haven't got a ton of posts written out and scheduled and all of those things that I might have done three or four years ago. Instead, I just share what is going on in my life and how I'm feeling. And so sometimes I will be talking about particular struggles or issues that I have going on. It might be that I'm sharing some of the challenges of life or perhaps it's things that I'm going through in my divorce. So whatever is going on in your life. But by doing that, you, I am showing up as wholeheartedly me, just being real, sharing what is going on. And people relate to that. People build a connection and a trust with that. And by doing that, it can really then help you to build that relationship. People think they know you. And when they think they know you, it's much, much easier to then sell to them. So I don't actually sell in the you know, conventional sense of the word very often. I don't say, oh, here's my whatever course, talk about this, and then, oh, would you like to buy it? I don't really do that very often, but I do talk about particular challenges that I'm going through and how actually, despite the challenges, I'm still able to sell my courses. And so by talking in this way, people can see, oh, that's given me a baseline income that keeps going even when I'm going through all of these challenges. And so by doing that, people can see, oh, she's going through all of this. We get to know her, but her business is still making money. She's still making money from passive income. And so by doing that, people are then saying, oh yeah, I'd like a bit of that. I'd like that life, despite all of the things that are going on in, in their particular lives. And so it makes it easier to sell because you are showing up as you. And so often with a personal brand, um, it is about your life. Um, it's not just about your particular brand colors 
or all of those things that we might have thought that's what a personal brand is, yes, they're important. Yes, having photos done, it's well worth having some photos done so that you can look your best, so that people do, do see the glossy version of you, but also have those real images, have the days when things go wrong, talk about those, show the behind the scenes of your life, show when things are a bit screwy. And so when you can show that behind the scenes, whatever's going on in your life, people really resonate and they love that. And so people would much rather see behind the scenes, the chaos and whatever else is going on because that makes it feel like it's real. And building that connection in the online world is so important because they don't get to know you. So in building a connection, they feel like, oh, I like you. And when they like you and they trust you, they're much more likely to buy from you. And that's why it's so important to build that personal relationship. If you found this video useful, I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. Please click the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell and I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye bye.